Hallelujah. Occupy Hallelujah. I want to thank Montana and some of the folks who reached out to me. Uh, I've been coming across the country, <coughs> visiting Occupy communities. We've all been evicted at about the same time, Boston yesterday. Uh, and so, uh, <coughs> some of you who know my work, I'm a I am a, uh, I'm an imitation uh, 2 a.m. cable preacher, Elvis impersonating, <laughs> uh, who, despite myself, uh, has become active in a kind of Occupy Luya Church, the Church of Stop Shopping. <laughs> Amen. Uh, which, which has grown over the last 15 years in, in New York City. I'd like to start by singing one of our hit gospel tunes. Amen. Praise me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Earth Hallelujah. <laughs> You'll just have to imagine. Just have Amen. To imagine. Just fill in the 40 voices I sometimes have behind me. Amen. 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 Congress shall make no law. Respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or abridging the freedom of press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble petition the government redress of grievances free speech, free press, free people Protest! Amen! <laughs> Praise me! Well, we're all hurting right now. We got cuts and bruises. I can't seem to get the feeling into my right thumb. And and that, that's from an arrest three weeks ago. And I can't seem to get... We're all walking around right now with if not physical, physical echoes of this violent culture. Amen. 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 We're walking around with cuts and bruises on our souls. Amen. 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 And we're going through a change that is a remarkable one, a, a collective psychological shift. Walking out, walking out onto a bridge together. Because after September 17th, there was this magical healing, electric feeling that swept across the culture. So quickly, 2,700 communities sprung up around the world. Amen. And of course, we know it did not start on September 17th. That's right. We're about a week away from the first year anniversary of Mohammed Bouazizi's fiery self sacrifice. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're about two years away from the Super League. Bradley, if you did do that, Lee, thank you. Amen. <laughs> Whoever let that go, the sudden rise of the lies of those conspirators in, in the Pentagon and the State Department was there for us to see. We've had, when you think about it, a kind of perfect storm. Something's been going on beyond our ability to control it 
That's right. Something from the earth mm -hmm. is rising to meet mm -hmm. what the people are trying to do. Amen. And all, after all, <laughs> what are we made of? We're last I noticed made of nothing but the earth. Amen. 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 Somebody, give, somebody give me an earth hallelujah here today. into these abusive architectures something that we did living a life together something we figured out suddenly made our cliche of the 60s protest that thing that was a weight that made it so easy for everybody and their sister to make fun of us Somehow, in a moment, we lifted past that. And now the, the so-called heavy people, whenever they're writing about society, it seems as if they're quoting Occupy in the London Times, and the New York Times, and all that, all that old, all that old culture. Seems like they got to quote Occupy every other paragraph. As we step out onto this bridge with the snow and the ice and the pepper spray in our hair, we can know that the Occupy is in us. And it's in the people around us. Amen. We did Occupy Wall Street. The people up in the corner offices who run Wall Street. I think I'm looking at the UBS skyscraper right here. <laughs> one of the top mountaintop removal financiers. One of these big ones. Killing people every day in Appalachia. This cruelty, this cruelty that is all around us. From this economic system that we are demanding an end to. We are on their minds. We have occupied them. They're looking down at us right now. And all we did, all we did to reinvent protest was to live life together. We just live together in each of our cities and towns. Some of these little towns in Nebraska, two pup tents. We just decided to live life together 24 hours a day. And something, something about Giving and receiving, right. swapping skills, right. telling stories, taking care of each other. Woo. When one of us is down, making media, making media. keeping the library going. The library oh, how could I forget? Going. Feeding each other. Amen. Something about living life in the commons, in the center, in the center. where the power has to witness us. <laughs> Things will never be the same now. No, no matter what we occupy over the winter time, we have that lived life together in us. A couple days ago, national call to action, reoccupying empty houses. Amen, brother. Amen. Bringing homeless families that have been evicted to empty homes. Going in there, fixing them up, finding a decent place to live for those children. Oh, nonviolence is creative. Loving each other, it's creative. Violence is not creative. Winter time is a creative time for us to take our personal occupy into new places, do exciting things, help each other, be artists together, find a new way to do it. It's already December 10th, May Day will be here in no time. And then, and then, springtime, 
House of Hallelujah. House of Hallelujah. Amen. Testify, testify. Testify, my brother. Thank you.